can you repeat again shantanu sir powder rain whistle seen from port side and the mast headlight is not uh, visible uh, due to the range archit sharma you are o w of a pardon vessel you see this red light ahead single red light identify this sir uh, sailing vessel okay what else and uh, a powered in vessel or our a side light port side light of any vessel next rishu kumar singh sir this is a sailing vessel underway this is sailing vessel underway let me from the it. port side sailing vessel underway seen from the port side seen from port side okay what else what are the optional light for sailing vessel what are optional lights for sailing vessel sir red and green the red over green correct one second so these are optional light correct yes sir and yes. now you don't have these lights these are optional light i think i can just group them they are not available you see only this so don't you feel that you should say this is a sailing vessel underway seen from port side without optional lights yes sir we should say that now the question is you see this vessel 30 degree on the starboard bow that means somewhere here 30 degree on the starboard bow like this so what action you have to take uh, sir we have to keep clear of the sailing, sailing vessel okay but what is the first action you are supposed to take will you just simply take avoiding action or before action to avoid collision you need to have a risk of you need to assess the risk of collision yes sir we will check that whether we have risk of collision or not ah so how are you going to check risk of collision that should be your answer if you see the vessel the first thing is you need to assess the risk of collision so for that what you are supposed to do so if the bearing does not change uh, in the ample uh, sir within time bearing sir. doesn't change and distance reduces then risk of collision exists what kind of bearing what kind of bearing the bearing of the vessel from our radar bearing visual bearing electronic bearing magnetic bearing sir visual bearing okay radar bearing
what is the proper word used in cholerae? Which kind of bearing? Compass bearing. Sir, yeah. relative bearing. Are say compass bearing, yeah. So you need to take a series of compass bearings. See, you need to use proper term. Take a series of compass bearings. Bearing name, bearings. That means more, more than one bearing of the approaching vessel. Okay. And if the compass bearing does not change appreciably, अगर ये bearing change नहीं हो रहा है, then there is a risk of collision. Now my next question is going to be, the bearing is constant. And range is decreasing. That what action you will take? Let's move to the next cadet. Ajay Khati. Yes, sir. So we'll pass it uh, from the vessel's turn. See, before you say whatever you will do, which you have to do, you need to give the reference of the rule. So according to which rule, who is responsible here? Which rule will be applicable? This is part and vessel. This is you have identified. This is sailing vessel. So which rule talks about the encounter between different types of vessel? The responsibilities between vessels. Yeah, then you have to say that. Yes, sir. That as per rule 18. Rule 18, yeah. See, you need to use proper term. As per rule 18, it is whose responsibility? Your responsibility or sailing vessel's responsibility? Our responsibility. Yes. So as per sir, as per rule 18, it is my responsibility to keep clear of sailing vessel. So pardon vessel is give way and sailing vessel is stand on. Stand on vessel. This is a stand on vessel. And what action you will take? So we'll not pass it off, off from, we'll pass it off from the stern. Okay, so in, in all probability, it will be like this. And on the starboard at port, so this is the port side, so maybe it is moving like this, right? Yes, sir. In the sailing vessel. Next cadet, careful body. Yes, sir. So what is your action? You are give way, we have established. Sir, I will alter my course to starboard side and pass it from its stern. The biggest blunder, the biggest mistake made by cadet. You know why they do not describe the maneuvering and warning signals as per call reg. So if you are altering to starboard, what signal you are supposed to make? One short blast. Yeah, then you have to say, sir, I will sound first sound, one short blast. And then you what to do, what to do? Alter to? Starboard Sound one short blast. Alter course to starboard side. Starboard. 
and make broad alteration remember this is what this. you need to sound broad alteration and pass well clear what to do pass well, well clear well clear of sailing vessel this is how you need to prepare all right guys uh, yeah after careful worry it is mohammad zai uh, yes sir can you identify this fellow sir it is a sailing vessel uh, seen from starboard side uh, sh showing optional lights sir absolutely correct and basically your question will be that you are ow on a pardon vessel by the way there is a your ship and this is the pardon vessel and what you see here let's identify sailing vessel sailing vessel seen from starboard side right with optional lights sir and showing optional light correct yes see now the second question how easy it has become now my question is not that my question is this vessel is 40 degree on your port bow so like this 40 degree on port bow somewhere here this vessel is somewhere here with optional lights and this fellow okay maybe yes, yeah like this this vessel is 40 degree on port bow 40 degree or maybe 45 degree simply it is on port bow so what action you have to take sir first as per rules uh, 7 i'll assess if there is risk of collision correct and if there exists risk of collision i will sound a one shot blast and then uh, alter the course okay. and let's come to the step by step yes sir. so the risk of collision instead of saying risk of collision which you have to of course you are using a uh, describe action the sir i will take series of compass bearing of an approaching vessel again i am repeating it take series of yes compass bearing take series of compass bearings of an approaching vessel i am not writing this approaching vessel obviously we are talking about and if the compass bearing does not change appreciably then risk of collision exists yeah if compass bearing does not on change appreciably that's the correct term then risk of collision exist the second question again see this is the same format that bearing is constant bearing is constant and the range is decreasing decreasing okay the first initially you got to determine the risk of collision risk of collision now what you decide you have observed that bearing is constant range is decreasing what action you will take now sir uh, first i will sh uh, sound a short blast and then no first you got to describe the responsibility Yes, sir. As per Rule eighteen, correct. I will keep clear of the sailing vessel. As per Rule eighteen, it is whose responsibility? Power driven vessel, my yes. vessel. It is the responsibility. It is or it is the responsibility of pardon vessel, or you can say it is my responsibility to, to keep clear of the sailing vessel. Correct. So actually, you can describe that. here the pd is given and this fellow is stand on vessel 
is stand out. And what action you will take? Sir, alter the course to starboard and pass from its turn, sir. Do you know in which direction this vessel is going? Yes, sir. It is. Uh, it will come to. It will pass to the starboard side, sir. It is coming from port to starboard. I will rotate three hundred and sixty degrees and pass from its turn, sir. See, it is showing the starboard side, right? Yes, sir. And it is going to pass like this. Yes, sir. From port to starboard. Okay. Can you go to port? No, sir. Why not? Sir, they say avoid altering to port. Avoid entering to port. In which situation? Give a vessel or stand on vessel? There, uh, give a vessel. Sir. No. Rule 17. That is for a stand on vessel, man. Get your funda right. Yes. The one, the rule which you are trying to quote is which rule? Rule 17. Rule 17. Well, rule 17 is for? Uh, stand on vessel, sir. And what they say? When it is too close, uh, when do not alter course to? Port. Port. Right? Yes, sir. Let me show you the exact text. Yeah, that is the text. A part and vessel which takes action in crossing situation. In accordance with this rule, forward collision with another part and vessel. So actually, both the vessels are not part and vessel here. Yes, sir. Okay. Or yes. even if there is a another vessel is part and vessel. Shall, if the circumstances of the case admit, will not alter course to port for a vessel on port side. And that is I hope I am not getting it is not getting confused. Uh, this is actually action by stand on vessel. Yes, sir. But you are giveaway vessel, and you are as a giveaway vessel, you are free to go this side or this side. Yes, sir. And then you got to see which is more convenient. Now, if it is a sailing vessel and Sailing vessel is moving like this. It is better to pass astern. Yes, sir. So, what action you will take? Uh, alter course to port, sir. Sound two short blast and alter course to port. Port. And then, what you are supposed to do? 
ఆల్టర్ కోర్స్ రిపోర్ట్ అండ్ పాస్ బై ఇట్స్ టర్న్ సార్ మేక్ బ్రాడ్ అల్ట్రేషన్ అండ్ పాస్ రౌండ్ ఎస్టన్ మేక్ సెన్స్ ఎస్ సార్ ఆనిక్ సర్కార్ యూ ఆర్ రేజింగ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ एक और सिचुएशन करते हैं सिंपल सिचुएशन नो एंड इन दिस सिचुएशन व्हाट विल डू विल क्रिएट सम ओके आई थिंक दैट शुड बी सिंपल yeah so you are over w of a pardon vessel and you see these lights can you identify this vessel it's a uh, sailing vessel ahead uh, showing optional lights yes it is sailing vessel right ahead and you need to say underway you forgot is sailing vessel underway sailing vessel underway and showing optional light correct and you see this fellow right ahead what action you will take by the way you are here So I'll turn a uh, course to starboard and pass port to port. See, this vessel is right ahead. Maybe we can a little bit make like this. This is a sailing vessel, right? Like this. And you see this right ahead. And... it is not moving or maybe it's underway or maybe it is moving and there is a risk of collision it's a right ahead sailing vessel not moving anywhere you have determined risk of collision so what action you will take so alter course to starboard and pass port to port port side of the other vessel next next pane saurav sangwan ho gaya aditya rai yes sir so according to rule number 18 it is power driven responsibility to keep clear of the sailing vessels way so i will uh, i will give a one, one shot blast and alter my course to starboard correct that is the way you should so this is an encounter between pardon vessel and sailing vessel fantastic and as per rule 18 that is what i have been repeating it again and again okay so as per rule 18 it is your responsibility that is you become give way and what action you will take one short blast alter course to the starboard now my question is rule 14 
add on situations is applicable or not? Not no. applicable. No, not sir. Applicable. Not applicable. No, sir. Okay, that is the googly you may get. Rule 14 is between two power trainers. Okay, so that is not applicable. So, why you alter course to starboard? Yep. How many other? Yes, sir. Why did you alter course to stop? Why? Can you alter course to port? These are the questions. Yes, sir, we can alter to port also. Yeah. Because this is the ordinary practice of Zima. But this is also correct. This is also correct. Now my next question, very important. Will you consider wind direction when taking action? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wind direction. Will you consider? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Because you are on a pot and vessel. Why would you consider? That is only for encounter between sailing vessel and other sailing vessel. Come on. Sir, actually, I have uh, one doubt regarding this. Sir. Hmm. sir, suppose the wind is from the port tack of the sailing vessel. So the sailing vessel will get shifted to the starboard side automatically. So wouldn't it wouldn't it be better to we uh, wouldn't it be better if that like sailing vessel is coming head on and uh, like it's getting shifted to its port side so we uh, better off uh, we uh, like uh, pass from their starboard side so it will make it easier for them sir. You got to determine whether there is a risk of collision or not. And the bottom line is you need to keep clear. And here the intention is that there is something called rule number 12. You know what is rule number 12? Yes, sir. Sailing vessel, sir. This is the encounter between two sailing vessels, which takes talks about direction of wind. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But here we are talking about sailing vessel versus pardon vessel. And as an action on a pardon vessel, it doesn't matter. Definitely, if the sailing vessel is coming closer, whatever direction is coming, you got to take action to stay away. Yes, sir. Okay. Last situation for the day. Or ye thoda mazedar hone wali hai. It will clear all your fundas. Let me see how. Really, I mean, this is a very good question and it really clear all your theory. You see a white light ahead. Single white light. And you are OW of a card and vessel. Now try to interpret. Yash Grover, Chara Batao, Kachi Dikta Dumko. 
सर पावर ड्रीवन वेसल सीन फ्रॉम स्टर्न पीडी फ्रॉम स्टर्न चलो चलेगा फाइन यस अंडर में भी लिख दू करेक्ट यस यस और और क्या हो सकता है सर सेलिंग वेसल अंडरवे सेलिंग वेसल अंडरवे सीन फ्रॉम एस्टर्न यस सीन पावर रेवन वेसल एट एंकर आल्सो पार्डन वेसल एट एंकर ऐसा नहीं होता यार एक चार माइल पे दिख रहा है दूसरी चीज तीन माइल की इतने पे तो बड़ा कंफ्यूजन हो जाएगा और बताओ सर वेसल अंडर ओर्स है जी वेसल अंडर ओर्स हाँ ये काम का है वेसल अंडर ओर्स और क्या हो सकता है तो पावर वेसल लेस देन ट्वेल्व मीटर इन लेंथ इट इज पार्ड एंड वेसल लेस देन सेवन मीटर इन लेंथ मैक्सिमम स्पीड सेवन नॉट तब वाइट लाइट दिखाता है और एक है सेलिंग वेसल अंडरवे लेस देन सेवन मीटर तो कितने हो गए केस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वो पूछता रहेगा जब तक तुम सातवा नहीं बताओगे सीबीडी वेसल अंडरवे पर सीन फ्रॉम स्टर्न थोड़ा सा आर आर से बाहर निकलो लाइफ राफ्ट तो लाइट हो सकती है लाइफ बोर्ड भी तो हो सकती है एक तो छोटी सी लाइट लग रही हो यस सर तो ये सब कहानी होगी नाउ दिस इज ए पार्ड एंड वेसल सीन फ्रॉम एस्टर्ट एंड यू सी दिस लाइट वन पॉइंट ऑन योर स्टॉबर्ड बॉ यानी ये इधर है इधर वन पॉइंट ऑन स्टॉबर्ड बॉ लाइक दिस ओके सो व्हाट एक्शन यू विल टेक हाँ जी आ जाओ फटाफट रोहित भास्कर चला गया यस सर यस यस सर बोलो सर ये जहाज है नाउ इट इज बीन एस्टेब्लिश दैट ये शिप है ऐसे जा रहा है और इसकी स्टन लाइट देखिए आपको ये वाली लाइट यस सर तो तो फर्स्ट एक्शन सो डिटरमाइनिंग इफ रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन इज एक्सेक्टली एंड हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू डिटरमाइन रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन सर बाय टेकिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ कंपास बेरिंग एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट ठीक है सर आई विल टेक सीरीज ये जस्ट कमिट टू योर मेमोरी आई विल टेक अ सीरीज ऑफ कंपास बेरिंग ऑफ एन वेसल and if the compass bearing does not change appreciably there is a risk of risk collision acha ab the second question kya banega the bearing is constant range is decreasing matlab nazdik ja rahe ho iske so what kind of situation is that you see the vessel right ahead with the stern and you are coming closer so overtaking overtaking ha so kaun sa rule lagega rule fielding so as per rule 13 any vessel overtaking any other vessel shall keep Correct. clear of the vessel being overtaken so whose responsibility is that so so i become a give the vessel in this case 
So as per rule 13, the, you are overtaking, you are given a vessel. Excuse me, sir. Actually, I have a doubt regarding this. Thing. Yes. Sir, if the bearing is constant and the range is uh, uh, and the range is uh, decreasing, uh, it can't be overtaking them because while we are overtaking, we are the going parallelly with them, and uh, the bearing needs to increase for that. Uh, if the bearing is constant, it means we are coming close to that vessel, and according to Rule Seven D, the risk of collision uh, D two. Okay, there is confusion. Confusion. Calm down. दूसरों को भी कम रख बेटा ऐसा नहीं करते गंदी बात है जरा सामने अब एनिमेशन देख ले तेरे को रेडीमेड एनिमेशन दिखाता हूँ <laughs> बहुत ज्यादा सोचता है गलत सोचता है तुम अभी दिखाता हूँ तेरे को ओवरटेकिंग समझ गया तेरा रीजन ओके नाउ देर आर टू शिप्स ओके एंड just to identify them i am going to have uh, them with different color maybe this will be a different color so that you have some idea you have some idea like this all right now tell me what is your doubt what is your question my question was that uh, sir if the bearing is constant and uh, we are uh, like we we notice that the bearing is constant and the range is decreasing it means we are going this way like uh, if we have the same bearing it means we are coming closer because uh, it says as per rule uh, 7 uh, part d sub paragraph 1 uh, sub paragraph 2 it says a risk of collision still exists uh, if there is an appreciable change in bearing uh, Particularly when approaching a, a very large vessel, so or when approaching a vessel at a very close range. अरे यहाँ तो देख ले भाई तेरे सामने दिखा रहा हूँ देख ही नहीं रहा तू बोलो जा रहा है ये देख क्या हो रहा है? Going close sir. Overtaking है कि नहीं है? Yes sir overtaking मतलब overtake करना पड़ेगा sir इसे अभी ऐसे ही चलता रहेगा तो collision हो जाएगा. तो वही तो मेरी चिंता है collision नहीं हो. ये बता ओवरटेकिंग है कि नहीं है यस सर ओवरटेकिंग किसी किसी तरह का बेरिंग बेरिंग सेम है कि नहीं है हां सर बेरिंग भी सेम है सर रेंज रेंज कम हो रहा है सर वही तो मैं बोल रहा हूं यार इधर कंफ्यूजन क्यों क्रिएट कर रहा है बेरिंग कांस्टेंट रेंज डिक्रीजिंग शॉर्ट शॉर्ट कोलिजन है अब बता क्या कंफ्यूजन है तेरे को पता नहीं क्या पढ़ लिया कहां से क्या मिक्स कर लिया बस सीधी सी बात है बेरिंग इज कॉन्स्टेंट रेंज इज डिक्रीजिंग देर इज कॉलिजन कौन सी भी सिचुएशन होने से अब तेरे को ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा कि ओवरटेक में क्यों हो रहा है तो मैं दिखा रहा हूं तेरे को है लुक लुक एट दिस चाहे इधर होने से थोड़ा सा इधर होने से ठक से ठुकेगा थोड़ा सा इधर होने से इधर ठुकेगा अगर yes, बताओ इसमें कंफ्यूजन क्या है नहीं सर मैं एक्चुअली यही बोल रहा था कि मतलब अगर वो हमारे 1.4 स्टारबोर्ड बाउ पे है और बेरिंग अगर क्लोज हो रहा है तो हमें ओवरटेकिंग के लिए अल्टर हमें ऐसे अल्टर नहीं करना पड़ेगा मतलब जैसे अभी वो अगर जा रहा है अभी अगर हम अच्छा, अरे सुनना मेरी बात यस सर कितना बोला इसने मैं समझ रहा हूं तेरी अब तो जो ना मेरे अंदर का जो ना आईटी एडवांस जगह आएगा अभी तो मेरे अंदर का ठीक है अगर इसके बीच का डिस्टेंस सीपी जीरो पॉइंट वन माइल है डोंट यू फील दैट दे बी रिस्क ऑफ कॉलिजन यस सर तो तेरा कहने का मतलब ये है कि सर अगर ये वन पॉइंट कितने पॉइंट था ये क्वेश्चन में कितना था हाउ मेनी डिग्रीज वन पॉइंट ऑन दर्ट वॉक ठीक है मैं कह रहा हूं यहां है चल ठीक है ओके अब लगाना वेक्टर मे बी इट विल पास लाइक दिस टू क्लोज देर इज स्टिल रिस्क ऑफ कॉलिजन ये सीधा 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 ऐसे जा रहा है टू कट दिस प्रोजेक्शन डजेंट मैटर ओके वन सेकेंड
if this vessel is moving like this, it still is going to collide. Bearing is constant. Range is decreasing. It's passing too close, man. So, sir, uh, in this case, bearing will not be constant because bearing will keep on increasing here, sir. Actually, because if it moves in this aspect and if it moves in a straight line, bearing will keep on changing, sir. Uh, if it is, if it is uh, from here, if it is 30 degree, when it reaches the uh, top tip of the green line, it will be uh, about its uh, 80 degrees, sir. There will be some variation in the bearing, I agree, but uh, approximately bearing will remain constant. And it is not necessary that this ship is here. This ship will also go like this, somewhere move a little bit ahead. This ship will also move somewhere a little bit ahead. So it is all probably, even if there is a appreciable change in the bearing, see that risk of collision still says, even if the bearing is changing slightly, still there is a risk of collision. Yes, and this will go a little bit further. So there is yes, a, sir. in all probability, uh, bearing will not change so significantly. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's move to the next cadet. Dimple. Sir, isme, hmm. sir, aise cases mein CPA bhi matter karega na, so, sir, hum wo bhi point ek consider karenge. Obviously, yeah, CPA, obviously, yeah. So if you are going too close, if you are going too close, don't go too close. Now my question, my question, let's come to the question. Yes, sir. First of all, tell me, what are the actions of Rule 13? Sir, I will do one shot blast and alter the course to starboard. Sorry? One shot blast and alter the course to starboard. One shot blast, alter the course to starboard, correct. Now, my question is, and that is the winning question. Can you alter to port? Yes, sir. In the sense, no, let me go back to here. Can you go this way also? Yes, sir. Of port yes, sir. We... Yes, sir. How can you say so? Sir, so we will sound two long blasts followed by two short blasts. If the other vessel agrees, we will alter our course to port side. Yeah. So the correct answer is that rule 13 tells that we are supposed to keep clear. But rule 13 does not specify that you got to alter to starboard or to pull. And if you are in doubt, if you uh, are in doubt whether this is overtaking or crossing or something else, we shall assume that this is an act We shall assume that it is crossing. It is overtaking situation. Shalom. Aaj ka kista. अब यहाँ पे आके खत्म करते हैं तुम्हारा ट्यूटोरियल हो गया ओके